and with their lips do honor me. Hey, my sister, how you doing? All right, look, let me ask you one quick question. Just come around, right? One, one for you two. Come around here real quick. Let me ask you one quick question. What color is Jesus Christ? What color you think? Yeah, this color of Jesus Christ. Just tell me what you think. White. White, okay. What you say? Black. Black. Why you say black? Oh. I don't know. I just... You just guess it? Yeah. Okay, so look. Look right here, right? When you look at movies like uh, Passion of the Christ, Ten Commandments, and all these movies that's supposed to be based around the Bible, the people that play these people are white. So you would think that this is Jesus Christ, right? Right? Right. Y'all believe in the Bible, right? So if I go in the Bible and show you his color, would you believe me? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Well, you? I always see him as white. You always see him as white. All right, I understand that. But you, you believe in the Bible, right? So if I go in the Bible and show you Christ, would you believe his color then? If I see it. If you see it. All right. 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Check this out. Check this out. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drum. I'm not that smart. I'm not, don't, don't be fooled. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Point to me, which one got white woolly hair? Which one of them? The hair on the head is woolly and it's white. Is it this or this? Which one do have? That one. That one, right? What, that is, what color is that? White. It's woolly. It's like this. It's like your hair, right? That's that. Read. As white as snow. It was white as snow, come on. And his eyes. Okay, now we're the going to his eyes. The whitening of his eyes, come on. Were as a flame of fire. Fire, fire is red, right? So, does, is this eyes red? Is, is that red? No. What about right there? That look red? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, we get somewhere. Read. And his feet. And his feet. Your feet, uh, I can see your toe. Your feet look like your legs. Your feet is the same color as your legs, your face, your arms, right? 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 So his feet, what? And his feet, like unto fine brass. So his feet was the color of fine brass. I'm not the, what color is fine brass? Green? Green, no, not grass, fine brass. Okay, brown? like brown. brown. Exactly. Go to Google, pull up fine brass, right now. Go to Google, pull up fine brass. This is brass. This is brass. Fine brass. What color is that? Brown. 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 So Christ feet sis, you with me? What are we going to do? Um, brown, brown. Well, what part of his body? His feet was what color? Brown. Fine brass. Right? Read. As if they burn. As if they what? As if they burn. So if you take something that's brown and you burn it, what color again? Black. Black. What color again? So his feet was so dark, it looked like it was burnt. So if your feet look like it was burnt, what color is you? Black. Black. What color? Black. What color? Black. So what color is Jesus Christ? Black. You see how simple that was? Black. So wait a minute. If Christ is black and this look more like him, why did he give us this? Uh-oh. Feet. Why did he give us this? Bring it out. Why? I'll give you the answer. Who had us enslaved? White people. White people. Did you, are you familiar with slavery? Huh? Are you familiar with slavery? Yeah. Yes. You care? You, you care about what we're going over? Okay. So pay attention. Stick with me. So if the people that enslaved us were white, they gave us a white Jesus Christ right. to keep us submissive to them. You understand? All we have to do is go in the Bible and learn for ourselves. This is not what Jesus Christ looked like. Okay? So what he just read is in the Bible. Yes, show her. Show your Bible. Revelations chapter 1, the last book in the Bible. So look, you go over it for yourself. Revelations. What does this say? Where is that? What does that say? What study what? Bible. What are we reading? The Bible. The Bible. You better believe it. So what we just went over is a description of Jesus Christ in the Bible. So now. White people had us enslaved. Why? Why? Why did God, if he loved us, why did he allow white people to punish us the way they did? And not just us.
Because today is so-called Thanksgiving, right? Why did the Native Americans, the white people, come over here and kill 77 million of them? Then why, after that, they go to the west coast of Africa and go get hundreds of millions of black people and enslave them, rape them, kill them? Why did God allow that to happen to us? Native Americans and black people, why? You know? Deuteronomy 28, you know? You know? So why, right? That's the question. Okay, because they told you God loved everybody, served me, and Jesus Christ looked like this. That's what they told us. That's what they told us in Christianity. But they're a damn lie according to the Bible. And I'm going to show you. Read Deuteronomy 28. Come, come over here. Come over here. Chapter 28, verse 15. We're looking at signs. Listen, it's okay. It's okay. Read this. Come on. Y'all come but to this. Come to this shall quick. come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible. Listen, listen. The Bible is not written for everybody. It's only written to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's it. God don't love everybody. He don't. And I'm going to prove it. He only loved the 12 tribes of Israel. White people know that. So they don't want you reading the Bible. You can't name five books of the Bible right now. You can't. Why? Because they brainwashed us. But I guarantee you can name NBA players, NFL players, or uh, you know female rap artists. I guarantee you that. If I told you who was Cardi B, you're going to know. But if I ask you who is King Solomon, King, you're not going to know. So you saying that... I'm yeah. not saying anything. The Bible is saying. I'm, go ahead, but go ahead. I'm listening to so you. So what you just said was that Jesus don't love everybody. No. That's what the Bible said. Romans 9, 13. He don't? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Where am I? Where, give me another Bible. Can I get another Bible? Anyone. Look in this book set right here. Give me a, give me a Bible real quick. I'm going to show you. And I want you to open up the Bible, and I want you to see it for yourself. We ain't making nothing up. Yes, this is not fairy tale. There's a reason you don't understand or know the Bible. They kept it from you. Right. Read Romans 9, 13, and then I'm going to go get another Bible and show you Romans. This is the Holy Bible. We can, we can go to Family Dollar right quick. Hold on. Right. Family Dollar ain't going to close. It's going to be there. I promise you, you ain't missing nothing. Stay right here and learn this information. Because if not, you're going to get killed when Christ come back. Bring it out. So you got to know this. And it's my job, it's our job to teach it to you. You understand? You listening? What's your name? Kanaya. Kanaya. Leonard. Leonard. Read Romans 9, 13. Where we at with it? The book of Romans, chapter 9. Let's see what the Bible says. Verse 13. It's highlighted. Read. As it is written. It says, as it is written. Come on. Jacob. Have I loved? It says, Jacob, have I loved? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. You're Jacob. God loves you. Read. But Esau. Esau, the so-called white man, according to Genesis 25 and 25. White people are Edomites. Esau. Read. But Esau, uh -huh. have I hated? He said, Esau, have I what? Have I hated? He hates the so-called white man. That's what God said. That's why he allowed them to do this. That's why he allowed them to have us enslaved and keep us dumbed down. They keep you entertained with sports, Hollywood, music, and you don't understand that your history is in the Bible. For example, I'm gonna prove it. Now we know that God don't love everybody. Matthew 15 and 24, show them that. Let's see. If, if it's written in red, do you know what that means? In the Bible, if it's written in red, do you know? That means it came directly out of Jesus Christ's mouth. So Matthew, where we're going, he's walking with Jesus Christ. And he's writing down everything he said. And he color-coded it in red. So when Christ spoke, you know. Read Matthew 15 and 24. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Come on. But he answered and said, Read. I am not sent. Christ said, I'm not sent. Read, but unto the lost sheep. He said, I'm sent to the lost sheep. Read, of the house of Israel. Of who? Of the house of Israel. Who is Jesus Christ sent for? The house of who? See, you are. And that's what I'm talking about. Who Christ sent for? The house of Israel. Who are the Israelites? I'm asking that. Christ said, I'm only sent for the Israelites. Do you believe it now? Or you need more scriptures? Do you believe it? You believe it? Good. 
He only said for the Israelites. Now, who are the Israelites? You know? Look right here. What does that say? What does it say? Twelve tribes of who? So, what tribe are you from? Like me. I'm from the tribe of Gad. American Indians. Right? You. This is what? Afro I'm Afro American blacks. So, you will be from the tribe of what? Judah. 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 You and Jesus Christ come from the same tribe. You and Jesus Christ are kin. He loves you. You are his children. You are his ancestors. You come from the stock of Jesus Christ. Right. They would never tell you that. Look at the conditions of our people. Look at this. Look at the black man. Just look. Drunk. You got an older man to look at y'all sexually. That's sick. Bring it we out. all are the children of Israel. And I know you experienced it. Beach. We are the children of Israel. You're akin to Jesus Christ. And they would never tell you that. Now, we are the Israelites, right? 68, Deuteronomy, what I got you older? Deuteronomy 20, 68. How did we get to this side of the world? Because we, we're from Africa, right? We're, we're from Israel, which is in Africa. But how did we get to North America, Central America, and South America? How did we get to this side? You know? You know? No, okay, that's fine. We're going to show you. And it might come back to you. Look at this. Right? We came here on slave ships. You know that. We came here on slave ships. Do you know? Do you know that? Yeah. We came here on slave ships. We about to leave right now. Hold on. One second. Tell them. Hold on. Tell them. You got, you're learning the greatest information on the face of the earth. Right here, Officer Nicole. Five minutes we need. Right here. We came here on slave ships like this. Over this to this North America, Central America, South America, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? This, and it's in the Bible, read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. It says God is going to bring the 12 tribes of Israel into Egypt. Egypt just means slavery. That's it. It means bondage, captivity, slavery, all right? So it says the what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. God is going to bring his chosen people into slavery. Read. Again, with ships. With what? With ships. We came here on slave ships. We was going to go through slavery on slave ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Meaning just how the Bible says it's going to happen. That's how it happened. And it happened to us because we didn't listen to God. All right? We didn't listen to God, so he made this happen to us. When I ask you, why did the Native Americans get killed like that? It's because God allowed it to happen. Because we didn't listen to him. Right. You understand? You understand? So why did we go through slavery? Because we didn't listen to God. Okay? Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. It says, Israel, you're not going to see it again. As a people, we think we're from Africa. We can't tell you where we're from. You don't know. And we are the Israelites from Israel. Read. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Come on. And there. And there. Once you get off the slave ships. Read. He shall be sold unto your enemies. He said you're going to be sold to your enemies. The Bible called a white man your enemies. Because they sold us. They sold us. Look here. Look here. Did this happen? Well, was we literally sold? Y'all have some movies like a Django. Roots. 12 years of slave. Black people, right? Were they where they're in slavery, where they're being sold. Absolutely, that's what happened to us, right? It says what, and there should be what? And there, should, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. The Bible says he's going to make you be sold to your enemies. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. God allowed that to happen to us because we broke his commandments. Bring it out. We didn't listen to him. Bring it out. You understand? Mm. His commandments was. Oh, you want to know what his commandments was that mm. we broke? Okay, absolutely. I'll give you one simple one. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. Bring it out. I'll give you one simple one. This is one you can fix right now. Because this is the solution to all our problems, right? We kill each other. We sell dope to each other. We live in the worst conditions. That's because we broke the commandments. And listen, we're not going to have time to go through all of the commandments with you. But you got to take, learn this information for yourself and start keeping the commandments. 
I'm going to leave y'all with two scriptures. That's it. And then y'all could go. Because we're not holding you up. And we're not making nobody do nothing. But I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman. The who? The woman. What's the topic of conversation right now? The woman. Y'all are women. Read. Shall not. Shall not. The woman's not supposed to be doing whatever the Bible about to say. Read. Where? Where? Clothing. Come on. That was pertaining unto a man. It says women not supposed to wear what men wear. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall men put on women's clothes. So if we had a dress right now on, would you listen to us and take us serious? No. no. So that's how God look at women that wear pants. So look, I'm gonna show you a prime example. You have a zip, your pants on. You have a zipper right there front. You can't unzip it anything. There is no, there is no, there is no such thing as women pants. All right, you're a daughter of Sarah. You're the people of the Bible. God made our women to look royal. Like for example, prom, right? Y'all go to prom probably, right? How y'all dressed up for prom? Explain. Y'all wear pants? No. Tell me how you dress. Tell me. Go ahead. Tell me what you got on. A dress. A dress. What else? Right, some heels, on. heels, dress. What you got on? I got on a pair of suits. No, okay. Okay. We're not. We're gonna deal with that. So you got on a dress. You may have earrings on. You may have that on, right? You're dressed royal. You think you look good? Our sisters dress like that every day. Bring it on. The daughters of Sarah. The, the women of the Bible dress like that on the norm. You understand? Now I have a question for you, sis. Are you gay? Yes, you are. What about you? No. Let me ask you a question. How come? What do you mean? I ask, why are you gay? You are attracted to women. How come? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 17. You're 17, right? You haven't really experienced life yet. Bring it out. Yeah. You, you think you have. Listen, when I look, 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 look at me as a big brother. We're not here to beat you down. I have a sister that's gay. The same conversation I had with her, I'ma have with you. Give me second answers where it say Abraham prayed for the Sodomites. Take it, is it second answers? Help me find that scripture. I'ma show you the Bible calls gay Sodomites. And yes, it's a law to not be gay. Women supposed to be with men. Bring it out. Supposed to be with women. All right? That's the law. We don't want to listen to God. We want to do what we want to do. That's why he kill us and plague us the way he do. You understand? 2 Ezra 7, 36. I'm going to show you what our forefather did. Our forefather is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob had these. This is his 12 sons that gave birth to the 12 tribes of Israel. I'm going to show you how precious you are. Read the book of 2 Ezra chapter 7, verse 36. Come on. Then say I. Abraham, pray. Abraham, this is Abraham. This is his characteristic. Watch what he did for gay people. Pray, pray. He first. prayed because he knew what they was doing was wrong. So he prayed for him because we want the Father to have mercy on you. Because he would kill you in your sin. You're a daughter of Sarah. He made you so precious that no other woman could give birth to God but you. Bring it out. No other woman could do that. No other woman can do that. Don't mess it up by going against your natural use. Read the scripture. Abraham prayed first for the Sodomites. Our forefather, the father, this man was so close to God, God called him his friend. And he prayed for gay people, for them to repent. I know you got to go. Sister, sister, you got to repent. Put a dress on, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.